store jokes on the page, I recommend using the yes button because you're proud of yourself when you give jokes and he sees smiling and laughing about the joke. Also, it's really nice because when you hit the yes button, you have a completely empty screen. The only button that's used is the yes and, of course, the go back button. So the first thing to do is sort of organize this. And I would just hit the yes button and start about right here. It depends on the person, but let's just start with this row being the first part of the joke and this being the answer. All right, so we're going to start with this button right here to make the first part of the joke. So you hit menu. While you're looking at that blank spot, you hit menu, edit page, touch that blank location. So then you're going to hit create a new button. Now the button label is going to be shorter than the message. So if I'm doing, why did the cookie go to the doctor? That'd be the question. Why did the cookie go to the doctor? The answer will be because he was feeling crummy. So the label could just be, why did the cookie go to the doctor? So that could be, I'll just do doctor. Whoops. Don't have a typo like I do. All right, so that's going to be doctor. That'll be the label, the button message. You'll touch there, delete out the word doctor, or whatever message you put there. And this is where you'll type the message. Why did the cookie go to the doctor? Of course, you're, whatever joke you want to do, you can do. All right, so, so you see how this works. It's in there going to see the word doctor and the message. Now, you can hit pronounce just to see what it sounds like. Why did the cookie go to the doctor? Sounds pretty good. Looks like I did it all in caps, which is a little, a little bit wrong. I'm not going to fix it this time because I have to type that over again, but you wouldn't do all caps. All right, so it picks a picture for you, which this one works for me. If it didn't work, you would hit select image, and you would, I'll do that on the next half. Scroll way to the bottom. Usually I change the body color on jokes. I would change the body color to the color of the noun color just to make it stick out a little more. And then you scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see a spot that says speech message. Leave that there, but you're gonna hit an add right there. So see, it says speech message, you're gonna say add. And the thing you wanna add is that you want it to navigate. So you scroll up to you, they're alphabetical, but you find the word navigate. You touch it, it says, which one do you want to navigate to? Now, you could scroll, but this is the yes page, so it's easier to hit that search window and hit yes, then touch it. So now you can see what it's going to do. It's going to speech the message, then it's going to navigate to the yes page. So now you hit save and done, and you get the first part done. So watch, when you hit the yes button, see how it sticks out? You see the word doctor? Why did the cookie go to the doctor? Then, of course, you're going to put the answer right here. So now we repeat the steps for the answer. Menu, edit page. I would touch about two over. That's up to you. Create a new button. And, of course, the, the I would put the answer crummy. Whoops. Once you get crummy in there, then you'll go to your button message, delete out the word crummy, and then put because. He was feeling crummy. All right, now you gotta scroll down to the bottom Let's look at the image it picked first. There's no image. Let's do select image. Let's do our search. There's no crummy in there. We'll take that, hit that X and eat it up. I'm going to do sad, or I could have done sick. I'll do sick instead. I'll see what I get for sick. Do a search. Yeah, that works for me. The medical one works even better for me at the hospital. Yeah, that's perfect. Scroll to the bottom. As you scroll down, you'll see it says body color. I'd probably make my body color again. The answer could be the same color. It could be consistently another color. Scroll way to the bottom. 
where it says speech message, you're going to hit, you're, you, you want it to stay on this page, so you're going to say add page, add, we're going back to navigate, you search, because we could scroll and find yes, but it'd be all the way to the Y's, so it's better just hit search, and hit yes, touch the yes, now you've done it, you've changed the label to crummy, you've put in your joke there, you changed your symbol by doing select image. You made the body color known, which I like. And you scroll down and you added navigate to yes, which means it's going to speak the message and stay on this page. Hit save and done. Because he was feeling crummy. So now I get out by doing yes. Yes. Or I could have done. Why did the cookie go to the doctor? I could do my go back if I didn't want to give the answer. Because he was feeling crummy. All right, that's how you do it. You just keep repeating those steps over and over again. Now, every once in a while, so I'm going to add one more step to this. Sometimes when you get to one of these, you could have where you fill it up with too many jokes, although jokes are only funny so many times, so you probably would be replacing them. What if you wanted to have a page that went to a whole other page of jokes, maybe a certain animal jokes or knock-knock jokes? So you can have one of these buttons can take you to another page where you could put in 84 more, potentially 84 more jokes. It'll actually be 82 because you'll 82 jokes and questions. First part of a joke, second part. Okay, so how do you get a button to go to another page? So the first step is you have to see the button you want to have navigate. So hit the yes one time and see a page that you want to take you to your knock-knock jokes. So I'm going to say, I'll say this button is going to take me to knock-knock uh, jokes. So now I hit menu, edit page, touch the button I want to go to another page, hit create a new button. My label is not going to be all caps because I do want to put my caps lock on now. So now I'm going to type in knock knock for knock knock jokes. And the all caps tells the person that it's going to go to another page. Now the button message, there actually will not be a message there. So we'll delete out that. So right now I have a label that says knock knock, all caps. I have a button message. Since it's going to another page, first thing I guess I better do is find a picture that works for that. So I'm going to hit select image. You could try knock, but it's not going to work. I don't think there's going to be one in there. Let's see if I delete out that first knock if we get one. No. So let's just do door. Then do your search. All right, so this works for me. All right, so now I scroll down. If I wanted to make my body color, I could change it. I really do recommend changing that. And uh, since this one's navigating somewhere, I'm gonna make it a different color. I'm gonna make this one blue just because it navigates to something make it different than the orange ones that talk. And I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. If I left speech message there, it won't hurt anything because there's no message there, but I'm going to hit the add now. And I'm going to go back to the navigate. But the problem is, is none of these pages that exist do I want to use. I want a new one. So now I hit this plus sign in the corner. I say, I don't want any of these. I want a new one. So I hit plus. Of course, my new page will be called knock knock. Then I'll hit save, and I'll hit save again, and done. So now you can see, these are still my not, my regular jokes. Why didn't the cookie go to the doctor? Because he was feeling crummy. But if I hit this button, because I told it to navigate to another page, it takes me to a clean page where I can now store all my knock-knock jokes in. So then you have to go back to get out. All right, so that's it. You hit the yes button and you program a joke and the answer. Put as many of those in you want. If you want a button, go to a third page and you hit that, make that category. It could have been any category you want. It could have been animals. It could have been dad jokes, whatever. Once it's here, you navigate to get out and you program the way, same exact way you program with these. That's how you're going to program these here. You just get to this page and follow the same steps we did back for these jokes. All right, I hope that helps and hope it makes a lot of sense. Let me know if you need any more help.